right, all right, all right. It's time for game number two of this week's Santa Claus I cast your freaking awesome replays where you have to drop presents on your opponent's face. Up here in the top of left, <laughs> literally four times more erotic than an adult film. It's X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X. Now remember guys, if you say X X X X X X X X X, try it at home right now. Do it. Do it. I know. I know you guys are just saying it. Say it out loud. It sounds like you're saying sex. X X X X X X X X X. I really like X X X X X X X X X X X. It it starts to sound like you're a little bit randy. Down here in the bottom right, facing off in the blue, it's Jade Fang. Noise. Sex is a funny word. It is a funny word, Dr. Pixel. It is, it is. So we don't know who's going to be dropping this game. We don't know who sent in the replay. I think... Uh, <laughs> I feel like... Wasn't wasn't there some terrible Vin Diesel? I, I, I've never really watched many Vin Diesel movies. I've watched almost none of them. I know a lot of people like Vin Diesel. But wasn't there a series of movies called like Triple X or some shit like that with him in it? I feel like this this this, this Protoss player thinks they're as badass as three Vin Diesel stacked on top of each other. You guys know, like in fucking um, oh, what's it called? What's the um, ugh, BoJack Horseman? Yeah, this is like he's he's like, look, if I get three Vin Diesel, stack them on top of each other, put them in a trench coat, I'm gonna be pretty badass. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the most awesome. I'm gonna be so good. Triple X Xander Cage, bro. People are telling me in chat, Xander Cage, oh, Triple X, Xander Cage, like, can you make a movie sound more lame just from the name? I think that's why I could never bring myself to watch it. I was like, it just sounds bad. It's like, if you're like, oh, I want to learn martial arts, I'm going to go to fucking, <laughs> what's his, ah, oh, I'm so bad with names right now. What's the guy who shits himself, um, pretends he's good at martial arts, has a ponytail, is like the lamest guy ever and made the worst action movies ever? And it was, oh, oh, <laughs> Steven Seagal. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Yeah, it's like, it's it's just, it's it's like, I'm going to be a badass. I'm going to, I'm going to go and I'm going to win the UFC. So I've decided to become the apprentice of Steven Seagal. You know, it's, it's like that level of just absolute idiocy. <laughs> just like, this guy knows how to fight. Yeah. <laughs> His action movies were so bad. I mean, like, Van Damme had some badass movies. Arnie had some badass movies. You had, like, actual martial artists making making some, some fun movies. They were all kind of silly. But Steven Seagal's were just a special kind of bad. It was, it was kind of fantastic. One day I will have to go and actually watch some Vin Diesel. See if it's as bad as the name sounds. Either way, one Vin Diesel adept gonna run in here. Look at that badass shade. Holy shit. The big micro gets two, two, two shots off and teleports like two inches away. But the Zerglings, not going to chase. They're just going to chill for now. And this is a pretty fast melee upgrade, my friends. Holy shit. Jade Fang has actually gone melee before Zergling Speed. Is, has got the third on the way, but has really sacrificed a lot of economy for this. And these Adepts going to come in for the punish. Holy shit. Look at that. Hardcore micro. Two drones already going down. The Adepts decide to split up. No, you're meant to stick with your body. Oh my god, that's a fifth drone. That's a lot of economy going down. Oh man, Jade Fang was already deep in shit town. And then losing so many drones and a bunch of mining time. There's, oh, another one goes down. Holy crap. Six drones when you've already gone... Such a fast upgrade. It's 34 probes to 22 drones. And uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling it for Vin Diesel over here. I feel like feel like three Vin Diesels stacked on top of each other are ready to really do well in this game. Doesn't really feel like they're going for drops just yet, though. It is just a, a Phoenix for now. I mean, dropping an Adept into the Mineral Line, it's not exactly coming down the chimney. It's, it's kind of like when you catch your parents... Just trying to give you a present. And I think that's probably what happened in Jade Fang's base back there. If we, if we really deconstruct it, I'm pretty sure the drones were like, Hey! Oh, look! There's there's Dad putting a present under the fucking Christmas tree. I thought that was meant to be from Santa. Little do they know, Dad has just drank like six gallons of fucking beer that night. Having one of those 
really, really alcoholic uh, Christmas Eves. And he's like, shut the fuck up, kids. I am Santa. They're like, you're not Santa, huh? So then he just started, like, beating the shit out of them. And and, and that's why six drones died to two adepts at the start of the game. Um, that was a little bit dark, but I'm just saying, I mean, if we have to compare it to, to reality and, and look at how it could be, you know, a real situation, that's it. Thankfully, the kids have now grown up. They said, Dad, you treated us like shit growing up. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna give you some presents that involve clawing your fucking eyes out. So uh, we, we'll see where this one develops. For now, Jade Fang's economy is still pretty fucking terrible. Now that Oracle does bite off more than it can chew. Damages a queen, damages a drone, and runs away with uh, a whole bunch of damage to its glowing green ball. I don't think anyone really understands how the Oracle works. It's just a green ball with some fucking chasis thingamajig around it. Chassis. Chassis, right? Man, words you never say out loud. Holy shit, it's time for Revenge of the Children. They're gonna drop in the main mineral line. They say, you've been naughty, you abusive Protoss fuck. And uh, they were drunk, apparently. Yep, they, that was a drunk Protoss. As I said before, the lore continues. Um, those adepts, they shade out of the mineral line. They abandon their other children. Their children with their new family just get left out in the fucking dark. Holy shit, worst adept parents Ever. The Zerglings are gonna come in, they're like, yeah mate, here's your presents, get massacred, these are plus one melee lings. Okay, a bunch more defense warps in, is it gonna be enough to stop this onslaught? Oh my god, it looks like finally, just barely, these adepts are gonna hang on. But uh, are they? Are they really? Because more lings hitting the front at the same time, there's still a few lings running around in the main base, more adepts are warping in down to 22 drones versus 20 probes. 26 workers have fallen so far. The Oracle comes on, turns on his douchebag beam, kills a few lings. The rest are like, nah, mate, just wait for his energy to run out. But the Oracle has turned off the energy beam, has conserved that. The lings are thinking about coming back in. They do think better of it. And these overlords on the left-hand side very slowly getting shot down by that phoenix. They decide to do some evasive maneuvers here. This is uh, kind of like watching someone in one of those mobility scooters trying to evade Usain Bolt. It's, uh, yeah, nah, you're not gonna get away. Just sit down. Just accept your death. It's, yeah, yeah, there we go. Does end up dying. The other one, though, super cheeky, just hid off to the side. And apparently the Usain Bolt Phoenix is not nah, just lazy as fuck. It's just gonna chill. Not even gonna go hunt it. All right, fair enough. So we've seen some sexy presents dropped in the Protoss base. Now the Protoss says, I can play at Santa Claus too. Uh, this time I'm actually gonna come down the chimney and drop inside your mother truck and base. These lings though are like, we can see you. We can see you. We, we know you're coming for our base. You're not gonna surprise us. You guys are drunk as fuck. You're not gonna, we're, we're gonna go wait for you in the main, main base. Uh, the drop's like, you know we're actually made to kill you, right? Adepts are pretty fucking badass. The Zergs are like, ah, are, are, are they badass? Are they badass? Really? Are, you think you're, you think you're cool, do you? I'm gonna break your wall back at home, you dickhead. Uh, at the same time, um, I'm gonna kill your Archon before it even finishes morphing in. Oh, that's a whole bunch of mutilated presents. Ling drop in the main as well. Usain Bolt finally gets on top of it, but a little bit too late, doesn't he? The Adepts warping in, but these Zerglings have found their way through the wall, and it seems like fucking Vin Diesel, drunk as fuck, abusive Protoss, is getting what comes to him. That's what happens when you shade two Adepts in, and you murder your opponent's children. They come at back at you twice as hard. Now, there is a wall off. It's a good choice there. And uh, a single Archon gonna morph in. That could help out a lot. Oh, don't morph into an Archon. Use your auto- Oh, what a fucking pansy. I would have loved to see them stay in uh, High Templar mode. We know that's their most effective mode because of science. And oh no, they didn't plug the wall in. Oh shit me. Okay, some drippy droppy. Oh, drippy droppy micro. The Oracle turns on the laser beam. The Archon tanks those uh, banelings. But the children are exposed. The economy is dead. And ah, oh, the Archon goes down. Shitty micro from Vin Diesel over here. And uh, he's bringing a bunch of Phoenix back. They don't help. Vin Diesel's like, lol. You shithead. And uh, yeah, Jade Fang's like, it's it's Christmas time. It's <laughs> lag. Oh, it, it doesn't count. It doesn't count, Vin Diesel. Oh my God. Just, yeah, yeah, lag. All right. Oh my God. What a, oh, bring out some more excuses, please. You've got nothing to macro. Oh, you're gonna time. Okay, it was lag. It was lag, that was the reason the the Archon died. Because I think, it, honestly, if the Archon was still alive, I think Vin Diesel still had a chance. I, I was like, you know, you got an Archon, two probes still alive, three Phoenix. 
What could a three base Zerg do against that? I don't think anything. I think it was pretty much over. Yeah. It was the lag. The lag was why why the Protoss didn't wall off. And uh, didn't hunt down the second wave of drop that fucking ruined the economy even more than the